Water is vital to our existence. Without it, we will not live. Aboriginal elders say water is sacred because we come from water. In Aboriginal ceremonies, water is a key ingredient for sweat lodges and other types of rituals. Water is one of our most precious resources. It covers most of our planet and supports all life on Earth. On the Blood Reserve, a pilot project between the Bloodlands Development, Environment Canada, Alberta Environmental Microbiology and Lesbridge Community College have teamed up to explore the water source. Their goal is to survey water samples and develop ways to monitor the quality of their surface water before the water enters a treatment plant. This project will lead other First Nations with a similar plan. Blood Tribe was selected as a pilot project. Um, we're bounded by about 100 kilometers of rivers. Um, there's different source waters that the community utilizes. So for the blood people, water is very significant. The protection of water is very significant and the, um, the source water for First Nations, or for the Blood Tribe, is very significant. We're in an area that's near the headwaters of the Belly River uh, watershed. Now the Belly River watershed uh, makes up, is part of the South Saskatchewan uh, water basin. So this water that flows, uh, it's actually the source of this water is in Glacier National Park in Montana in the United States. Uh, it's glacier fed. Uh, and then it trickles down through uh, Waterton Park when it hits Canada. Flows out of Waterton, flows through here uh, and the Blood Reserve for about uh, probably six, seven kilometers. And then it uh, ends up being uh, running through Alberta, the province of Alberta. And then it's one of our boundaries on the main reserve out uh, on the prairie. And it eventually ends up in the Hudson Bay. We have a well-organized reserve here and uh, largest reserve in Canada. I believe uh, fastest growing population as well and, and, uh, and largest population so um, we've got a good partner and they also have their group, uh, environmental group with BT Lands who are um, involved in a lot of different uh, environmental aspects. Um, so uh, along with uh, uh, our Environment Canada people in the region here and also the uh, Alberta government, uh, we, I think we have a, a winning team. A typical day with us, if you were referring to the Blood Tribe land, um, a lot of it re revolves around driving because that's a very big land mass. So it's one of the biggest reserves in Canada. But what we do is we go out and we find, first we go to an initial site. So say we went to a long time squirrel site. We'd go to a long time squirrel site. We'd go in and we'd do general characteristics. So we'd take pictures upstream, downstream, and on the sides. And then we'd also take the air temperature as it sits. Then we'd go in and we'd do our physical and chemical testing. We'd look for conductivity. We'd check the pH. We'd also um, look at turbidity and check the turbidity and some of the growth and some of the features around there. Then after that, we'd go into testing it for crypto and GRD. 